Want to create content that's consistent, on brand, and easy to create? Well, in today's video, I've got you covered. We're going to talk all about branded templates. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Willow and I've been using Canva for almost nine years and I use it daily for my business. My channel is dedicated to sharing all the amazing things you can do with Canva, especially for small business owners like me. So be sure to hit subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be notified every week when a new tutorial comes out. If you're completely brand new to Canva, you'll want to watch this video next to give you the basics and a good solid foundation to get you started with Canva. And I'll be sure to put a link in the description below so you can find it easily. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create branded templates that you can use for all of your content. We'll use the brand kit that we've created in the previous video to create our branded templates. Branded templates make it super easy to create your content and keep it consistent and on brand every time. So without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial and get started. So before you start creating your templates, you wanna make a plan. There are seven basic types of social media content. There's educational content, which are resources, recommendations, tips and tricks and how to's. There's inspirational content, which is something that expresses caring, like quotes or motivational, inspirational quotes. There's interactive content, like polls, games, quizzes, this or that choices. There's connecting content. That's behind the scenes, product reviews, things that really help you connect to your audience on a more personal level. There's promotional content such as discounts, freebies, coupons, sign up for email. There's newsworthy content, which are recent news about your niche, research studies, new information, etc. And then of course, there's also entertainment content like jokes, memes, comics, things that are humorous. You really want to pick your top three types of content to focus on and then start creating your brand templates. You're also going to want to create a list of the type of templates that you'll need. For example, if you share a lot on Instagram, you're going to want Instagram templates, Facebook templates, Pinterest templates, LinkedIn templates, whatever your choice of social media, you want to make sure that you create templates for those specific social media sites. You're also going to want to think about the goal of your content. Where do you want your content to lead the reader? Knowing this will also help you create the types of templates that you need without having to go back and make multiple changes every time you use the template. So for our first template, we're going to start with an Instagram post. And what I've done is I've started on the home page of Canva and I've come up here and I've clicked the social media button and it gives all of these options. Now I'm clicking on Instagram post. They have all of these templates that you can pick from or you can create one from a blank template. So I think we'll start with this one and we'll just customize it so that it fits our brand. Let's start with our logo. So we'll use this logo for us and I think I want to set this right up here where that circle is and then I can pull these letters down and shrink them down a little bit. Um, Pull this down. Let's make this a Motivation Monday post. I kind of like how all the letters just kind of run together. It's a little different. Let's pull this back over here. And now we'll do the background, make it that color. And then this will change the color on. Change your letters, change this color. You just take one of these templates and you completely customize it for your brand. We're going to change this circle, flip all of these colors and make them our own. And we want to change this to say Motivation Monday. We're gonna change the color so that it matches these letters, send it back. And then you'll notice that this is an image that's in a frame. So we'll detach the image and we can delete that image 
So we'll go to elements and let's find an element that's pretty and motivational. And I like the colors in this one because it even kind of matches the brand colors. And then these letters, we're going to change the color of these. Let's change this font so it's a little more readable. And then you just put in. Now for this kind of template, you can change this image. You could even make this um, a blog post. So you could change the Motivation Monday letters to new blog posts. And if you shrink this down just a bit, then you can make it very clear We'll change these letters to there we go. And then for your blog posts, you could literally change this image to an image of your blog post title or if you use an image with the blog post, put that image in this frame. So we have our first template completed. So what I would do, you go to share, go to more and click on template. Now this will create a template folder called team templates. Hit publish template. And now you have created your first template. Now we'll create our second template. I would go up here, click the plus button, come down to Instagram post and it opens a new artboard. And this time I think I want to create one from a blank artboard. So we'll go back to our logos. We'll pick this one, pull it up here in the corner. We're going to change the background to match that one. So it blends in and then we'll go to our elements and I use the polka dots a lot. So I know that that's in my starred folder. We'll add this one and just change the colors to your brand colors. However you want them. We'll go with this blue in time. Okay. And now take that and we'll shrink it down, double it. And I want them to kind of meet in the middle and you just work with it until you get it the way you want it. Now I'm going to highlight both of these and group them. And then I'm going to go back to elements. I'm going to go to lines and shapes and see all. And I think we will go with, let's use a square, shrink it down. We're going to pull it all the way across, change the color on it. I want to include my channel information here in this box. So I'm going to put at office supplies nerd and I'm going to pull it so that it fits within the block position center and I want to kind of make this stand out a little more and be easy to read very quickly so I'm going to increase the spacing on it color to brand color quickly fix that then let's see it's still got a little room go back to elements and let's look for a YouTube button, this one, and shrink it down. Still too big, so we're gonna shrink it a little more. Color, and then I'm going to Control D to duplicate that icon, and I'm gonna put it on the other side of the name. And I just really don't like the color of this bar, so I'm gonna change it. We'll make it a super white. Here we go. I like that better, so we're going to select this icon, Hit shift and hold, click on the name and click on this icon. So they're all selected and click tidy up. That will space them out and put them where they need to be. And then I want to add one more thing. I'm going to go back to elements, I'm going to grab a line, pull it down here on top of this box. And then I'm going to change the color of this line. So it does again, match the brand. And now I've created my second template. So again, we would go to share more, click on template, publish template, and now this is one of our templates. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new tutorial is published. And now we're going to want to take this template and change it to a different type of template. Canva Pro makes this super easy. 
and it's one of the advantages to having the Canva Pro account is that you can resize your template with the click of a button. With the free account, you have to repeat the whole process. There's a link in the description for a free 30-day trial of Canva Pro, so be sure to grab that and give it a try. Remember, any templates that you create in that 30-day trial are yours to keep, even if you decide not to keep the Pro account. But be sure to only use free elements if that's your plan. And since we're using Canva Pro, you're gonna come up here to this resize button, click on that, and then this menu opens, and you can scroll down and pick any one of these options. So we'll select the Instagram story, click copy and resize, and Canva does it for you automatically. Now you will notice that things are kind of out of place because the sizing is so different, and that's okay. It's super easy to fix. We'll just highlight these, pop them at the top, We'll even pull them down a little bit, make them a little bigger. And same thing with this. We can pull it down to the bottom. We can make it a little bigger. And I want the icons right toward the edge. And now there's an Instagram story template. Come to share, click more, click template. And again, it's going to go in your team templates folder. Click publish template. I hope you found this video helpful and full of great information. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be notified every week when a new tutorial comes out. And be sure to grab your link in the description for your free 30-day trial of Canva Pro. I'll be back next week with another tutorial. And until then, have a great week and enjoy your Canva. Mm -hmm.